Another thing which is important to mark is our friend, the DXY, the dollar index, dollar versus other currencies, right? Now, if we zoom out on the DXY here, it's sitting at 106, go into the weekly. Bitcoin, this is the DXY, which is the, the strength of the US dollar versus other currencies. The US dollar basically since July has been going up. What has Bitcoin been doing since basically March? Been going sideways, right? So if we do break this uptrend here and we start coming down here, uh, and maybe even just down to like 104 or 103, right? Then you have the DXY also getting any negativity out, right? So the dollar becomes not weak, but weaker than it has been in the last, you know, few, uh, last few months. Then you have Bitcoin getting stronger, right? You have um, a rate hike pause still in effect that allows price to go up. So you have a lot of these potentially bullish price action events happening for Bitcoin's price possibly, right? But you still need to see, I would say, this break below the last week's candle low, which is 105.5. So you'd need a weekly close below 105.5 here on the dollar index to start seeing a downtrend potentially play out. If you want to go on the daily and try to see when that might or might not happen, you could go to the low here, bring it across this more, more recent low, and you can see, boom, we did break to the downside here. It came up, it got resistance. And so if it does break below again, that most recent low, of that 105.5, then it likely starts to be in more of a downtrend than an uptrend, which gives Bitcoin um, some good movement possibility, right? Um, if we take a look at the uh, CPI, the US inflation rate, and we zoom in here, let's see here, ah, not this one. Uh, is it this one? There we go. Right. You had the most recent CPI print sideways. Now, if we turned on the algo, and we said this when we were in the crypto mindset course. So if you weren't in the crypto mindset course, you missed this. But we said the next CPI print here for the data from September is likely sideways to a little up. And it went sideways. So inflation here not is beaten. But right, it had a little bounce and it's going sideways. So it's not impossible that the Fed says, hey, we do need more restrictions in the market, but we might not tighten, right? So if they don't tighten uh, on November 1st, that would be one other bullish catalyst here for Bitcoin. So again, I'm just giving the bull case. Not, I'm not saying that that's going to happen. I'm saying it's possible and it's something that you guys um, want to take. understand that uh, the if this, then that scenario here right which is if this is the scenario that we see happening right then your altcoins are going to start moving pretty damn good so um again while we're under thirty two thousand dollars you can accumulate your altcoins that you would like to hold for the next two years right uh as much as you want and then um if we do dip into that early november period it will just really be dependent on the timing and price of the high so if the timing is earlier then the end of October and the price is lower than $30,000 or $31,000, then I would say we probably have a good chance to come back down to 25, right? And not until the end of the year, maybe, um, or at least down to 27, right? Um, but if we do peak up here, right, we probably don't dump more than 27 or 28K um, into the end of the year. We get some ETF hype, boom, right? And uh, sayonara 20K Bitcoin um, for quite a while, if not maybe forever, right? So that's where we're at in the market. Things are looking good. Last few months or last few weeks of accumulation here before the spot Bitcoin ETF gets approved and we start pumping like a banshee. Not saying that we're going to fully fledged bull market at that point. Actually, if you do take a look at where we are at compared to 2019, which was another first year of a four-year cycle, we would actually, if we had hit what we did in the first half of 2019, you would have already seen Bitcoin's price here in the middle of this summer come up here to 48,000. So we actually are much, much more subdued right now in price because we are having, I think, uh, more macroeconomic issues over this year, right? Um, the first year of a four-year cycle, because that's happening and that didn't happen as much in the beginning of the last four-year cycle, you actually have price being less exuberant. So that ETF approval and getting the price pumping up to 48, I would say is more of a natural occurrence, getting Bitcoin kind of to where it needed to be.